Other news today, I had a chance to sit down earlier this morning with Governor David Ige to get some answers on some of the more pressing pandemic issues facing the state. And I began a conversation by asking with the number of positive COVID cases and hospitalizations down nearly 50% over the past week, could we expect to see some of the guidelines lifted anytime soon? So the numbers are better today, but we're still, the seven day average is still over 300. I think what we would want to be able to do is assure the health and safety of our community and then begin to release restrictions and um, return the recovery efforts to get everyone back working. The governor says if everybody remains vigilant, he does see the possibility of getting back to normal by the holidays. I also asked him about the state's overall vaccination rate. Early in the pandemic, 70% was the magical number, the benchmark for lifting all guidelines. But then Delta happened. Is there a new number, a benchmark, whether it be 73, 75% where you're going to say, okay, we're there, we're done? I think the focus, uh, Howard, is of on the healthcare system and the healthcare capacity. And just want to remind everyone that we still have more than 650 um, nurses and medical technicians who are here that um, they're providing uh, help and assistance and relief um, to, to many in our healthcare industry. And on the subject of UH football, the governor confirms there will be no fans in the stands for homecoming Saturday night. But why not allow a limited number of vaccinated and fully masked fans. What is the justification of zero? Because schools, swap meets, shopping malls, restaurants, everywhere we go, there are people, but when it comes to football, the number is zero. Where did we arrive at that particular number? It's zero because we have more than 250 COVID positive patients in our hospitals. Uh, it's zero because we have more than 250 um, patients in the ICU units and we are just under the maximum capacity. And should there be a, a tragic accident or any um, of those kinds of things that would happen, we would have to get to the position of rationing care and, and deciding who would get services and who wouldn't, which we are all working to avoid.